these degrees do not come easily. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Giselle and today I'm going to give you five questions that are very commonly asked in a college program interview. Not only just college program interview, even just a college interview to get into that college. So why don't you guys grab a snack, grab a drink, and sit back and relax so we can go over these five questions that they may ask you and so you can be prepared and ready to go into your interview. Let's get started. You guys already put a resume in, you did your application process, and now they're asking you to come in for an interview. Not everyone gets an interview, so congrats on that part and getting this far. Now going into the interview, you wanna be prepared. Make sure you did all your research on that college or program and the background and everything that you're about to put yourself forward to in the next couple of years. Going to college and getting into a program is a lot of hard work. It's a lot of mental work and a lot of physical work. There are gonna be a lot of days where you are gonna study all day, all night. You're gonna to go to a lot of classes. You're going to be getting yourself into a lot of things. So I'm here to help you prepare for that interview so that you can already go into it knowing a little bit about what they may ask you in that interview. I personally went through an interview in college that had to get me into a program which is the ultrasound program and I had to sit through one that had the ultrasound director, it also had the radiology director, and it also had some other ultrasound techs in the city in that interview. So you can only imagine how nerve-wracking it could be when you're sitting there in an interview, but you really want this, right? So you're gonna do whatever it takes to get into that program or get into college. And so these questions are gonna help you be more prepared. I actually was asked all five of these questions in my ultrasound program interview. So definitely stick around for all of them so that you can get some advice. Okay, the first question that's gonna be really plain and simple, why do you want to go into that program or why do you wanna get into that college? Now for me personally, why do you wanna go into the ultrasound program? Well, there are so many things I could think of in that situation as to why I wanted to go into the ultrasound program, but you just have to be honest with why you're going into this field, why you're going into that program, what is it that makes this program or this college or this career something that fits your life and your needs and what you want to fulfill for yourself. Now I wanted to help people, that was my main goal. At first I wanted to be a nursing student, but then, you know, things happened, I became an ultrasound student, and I just wanted to help people. So that was the main reason why I wanted to go into ultrasound. Not only was that the main reason, I really enjoyed the classes that taught me about ultrasound. I liked that there was no radiation. I really liked the fact that I could do a job that was single-handedly up to me because no one is telling me how to take pictures and no one is going to tell me what I'm looking at. It's all me. I'm the one that's deciding which pictures to take and what to write on my report. So those are some reasons why I chose ultrasound. Now you have to come up with reasons on why you chose your program, your career field, or that college that you're trying to get into. Make sure you do your research about everything that you can that will give you some credits to show that you know what you're talking about and you know what you're about to get yourself into. So now question number two. I added these two questions together in one because they pretty much ask you these questions together. What are your greatest strengths and what are your greatest weaknesses? They're going to ask you what is a strong point about yourself. They're going to ask you what is a weakness about yourself. And I remember when they asked me this, I was like, hmm, okay. My greatest strength is probably that I am a hard worker. I love to put my best foot forward. I love to do my best at anything that I do and anything that I put my mind to it. So that is what I believe is my greatest strength. No matter what it is, if it's something that's really hard, I'll do my best to try to figure it out and do it the best way possible. As far as weaknesses go, I said from the top of my head was that I'm just an overthinker. Yes, a lot of us are overthinkers, but that weakness can also be a strength in that situation. Because I'm an overthinker, that's gonna help me as an ultrasound technologist to do the best job that I can when I'm scanning a patient. I'm not going to just give up when a patient is difficult, and I'm not going to just forget about an exam when I go home. I'm gonna actually look it up. I'm gonna do some research, learn a little bit more. So overthinking sometimes can be a good thing. 
when you talk about your strengths, make sure it's something that relates to your program or career or college degree. Also, when you talk about weaknesses, make sure you can relate it to something positive. Make sure you can make it sound like not just is it a weakness, but it is something that you can overcome and make it a strength. So that's a tip for that question. Question number three, what is an obstacle that you have faced and how did you overcome it? These program directors and these college professors want to know if you've gone through something and how you got through it. They want to see if you can rise to the challenge when something gets hard, if you will get back up and get through whatever life throws at you because life is not easy and going to college is also not an easy thing to do. So definitely let them know what is something that you went through in your life and because you're already watching this video make sure you think about it before you go into the interview because now you're not having to think so long while you're sitting there to answer their question they want to know that you are persistent in life that no matter what if you fall you'd get back up they also want to know that you are a human being that goes through ups and downs in life and we are all human beings, we all go through hardships. So definitely just try to think of one that'll help you stand out and that'll help show your personality to these people. Think of the challenge in your life. How did you overcome it? And did it change the way that you would solve future problems? And all of these things can be helpful for them to determine what kind of person you are. The fourth question that I think that they could potentially ask you is, where do you see yourself in five years? Maybe they'll ask you, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Be honest with them and tell them, where do you really see your future? Do you see yourself graduated and in a career that is fulfilling? Do you see yourself providing for your family or being the first one in your family to graduate from a college program? They wanna know that you have goals and that there are goals in your life that are, are personal to you that shows that you actually have given some thought to your future and what you wanna do next. So this gives them a little bit of insight into your life and your future goals and what you want to do. It's also an opportunity for you to shine and to show them why you're really interested in getting into this program or going to this college. The picture that you paint them with your answer to this question is going to be one that is unique. Hopefully you can find a way so that when they go back and look over their application process, they know what your background is, what your story is, and that you really have a future that you're looking forward to working really hard for. That is a plus side for them to want to add you to their program or to their college. Number five and the last question that I think that they could ask you in your interview is why should we pick you over the other student that is applying for this program? What makes you unique? This is your time to share all your thoughts, anything that you have to say that will make you stand out and to make you shine. Make sure you're giving them eye contact, you're giving them passion, and show them how grateful you would be if they gave you an opportunity to prove to them the type of person you see yourself in the future. Show them something that makes you stand out and definitely figure out why they should pick you over the next person that they're about to talk to. I remember when I was going through my interview process, I answered these questions based upon honesty and a lot of personal stories. So think about what kind of things you can bring to the table, what makes you unique, and that'll really help you stand out. I hope that you guys do get an interview to get into these programs because to be honest, it's honestly really hard to just get a feel of somebody by just reading a piece of paper, resume, or application. And a lot of times in ultrasound, it's not about your GPA. It's not about how good you did on that anatomy exam. Being a good technologist is about your skill set your communication skills, your patient care skills, how you operate a computer and a machine. It's all about how do you communicate with your classmates, with your coworkers, with your fellow stenographers. It all just depends on your hard work and your vision for the future, what you really want to pursue and how you're going to get there. So do your best in these interviews to stand out. Don't be nervous. Take a deep breath before you go into that interview process and know that what you're doing is showing them your personality in this 30 minute to an hour interview. They just want to know who you are and they want to see if you're really serious about getting into these programs or to this college. 
because at the end of the day, so many people are fighting to get in and not everyone gets in. So this is your opportunity to show them how badly you want it. Just do your best, stay positive, have a big smile, and tell them how much you're willing to learn, you're willing to work, and you're willing to study because getting into a program is going to take up your entire life. It is going to take up years of your life. You're going to have to study every single day, you're supposed to learn every single day, and you are going to need to focus. These degrees do not come easily. With all of this being said, I hope that you guys found something helpful in here. I hope that you guys are preparing to get into these programs. And to all of my sonographer students out there, just do your best to finish your prereqs, get the best grades that you can, and hope that you can get an interview so that they can see that you are so willing to learn and get into that program and to study and put in all the work to become an ultrasound technologist. The program is so hard to get into, I get that. But you want to also be able to talk to the program director, put your name out there, let them see that you are willing to put the work in and that you really want this career. There are so many programs out there, so do your best to see what fits you and what is best for you. And if you guys have any more questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to comment them in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're not yet a part of the family and like this video if you found something helpful. I just wanted to jump right in and tell you guys what was in my interview. All of these five questions were in my interview. Do your best to stand out, stay positive, be kind, and we will always see you guys on the next one. Bye.